Hey guys, it's Johan, and we're with Larry here at the Ontario Regiment Museum. And today we're going to do a video on the Stewart. So, Larry, I understand you're going to pull the vehicle out for some repairs. So, if you could tell us how you're going to start it up, because I understand there's a whole procedure for that too. Yeah, and absolutely. tell us what you're going to do. Well, today the Stewart's going to take some, uh, do some track maintenance on the inner, inner half of the upper half of the track. Uh, you can get to the track in its, in its station right now from all the outsides and the lower half from crawling underneath. But in order to get the upper half of the inside of the track, you have to move the vehicle forward to get that to lay down on the ground. So we're going to start the Stewart and move it up. Um, we don't want to warm it up too much. We just want to move it forward and then shut it off. And then uh, when we're done, then get it to move back and then shut it off again. Because we don't want to get it too hot. We just want to really easily move it up. I've got the tracks taped to, to, to show me where the track's got to lay on the floor from the back sprocket to the front sprocket. So the procedure for starting this tank is you have to go behind it and turn the engine over without the magnetos on because we don't want it to fire. There's no power to it right now, the power's not on. And we want to stir the uh, oil in the bottom three cylinders to move back into the reservoir. Okay, let's go do that now. Yeah. I'll even let you uh, give it a try, you went. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> so technically it's about 30 to 60 cranks. Um, I like to do 60 because it makes the revolutions of the engine completely turn a full cycle at least four or five times. Yeah. So we're into the, uh, the guide and then the joint where it's on to the actual uh, uh, crank, which is connected to the actual starting motor. Right. So that's not going to operate unless it's engaged. So we're going to start going uh, clockwise. And as I turn, it gets stiff. That means one cylinder is coming to the end of the cylinder head. So you got to really lean into it. And you watch the numbers on this little pulley down here. And when they get full revolution, you've got one revolution of the engine. So they started at the bottom. Now that's one revolution. I like to count because it's more precise. And all this is doing right now is getting the bottom three cylinders oil out of the cylinder head because it does leak. And it's just the tolerances on these engines because it's an aircraft engine. Uh, we're not as tight as the engines today. So I've already done this previously. So I've got it in a tough spot and I'm going to let Johan try. Oh, perfect. So you've got to put your back into it. So step your left foot back, your right foot forward. Right foot forward. Okay. There you go. So once you get the numbers onto the bottom of that pulley and facing downward, now you find a tough spot. Now, yeah. Keep where it's easy to turn, you'll yeah. you'll come it's to a spot there. where it's stiff. Yep. As soon as right. you feel it, that's good. Yeah. And what that does is sets the engine up for combustion. So, so now we're ready to uh, go into the vehicle. Yeah. We're not going to start it till after lunch. Okay. But uh, I'll express uh, what we have to do. I've already gone in behind here and checked the oil and I've gone over the belts. These are two 27,000 volt magnetos on either side. And they actually fire one set of spark plugs each. Yeah. So on your magnetos, which you have magneto one, magneto two, and then both. Yeah. So that's all the way forward would be both. And the key to this, this engine is you check your fuel and make sure you got plenty of fuel. There's no gas gauge on this thing. So this is our, this is our dipstick gas gauge. Uh, well, it was here. It's been removed at the moment. It's probably up in the, the high end. And we can dip the tank, and it's marked in several spots on how much fuel we have in. Yeah. There are two throw bearings between the transmission and the engine, and they have to be oiled each and every time we take it to the field. Mm -hmm. For today, we're not going to do that. Mm -hmm. And then when you get inside the driver's compartment, once you finally get yourself in there, uh, you have to actually go to the turret first, turn the fuel on, then the power, come back out, go through the front to the driver's uh, compartment, and um, you flip the switch for the electric fuel pump, you count to 15, 20, and then you feather the throttle while it's on about 12 times, mm -hmm. and then you're ready to crank over. So it's clutch and heel starter. Right, just like a race car. Yeah, and make sure that it's completely in neutral. Yeah. And as soon as it coughs, it starts to cough uh, in the... Um, booster coil or you can have it all the way 
forward for all, all uh, the magnetos to fire. And as soon as it starts to, to fire, you take your foot off the starter, keep your foot on the clutch, and you feather it a little bit to catch it. And once you catch it, then you hold it there. Yeah. And you let it warm up a little bit, then you can remove your, your foot from the clutch because the transmission and the drive has to warm up that oil. And it's, it's 50 oil in there. Yeah. Or 30, sorry. 30 weight. Right and then. then you're ready to rock and roll. And of course you need hearing protection. And you need two people, three people actually, one back here with a fire extinguisher, another one up front to see me, to tell me if uh, something doesn't go well when we have a fire, because <laughs> then we have to shut it down and hit it with an extinguisher. Hopefully we won't have to do that. It's happened once. Oh. So, so it's just one of those little tanks. And uh, I mean, the maintenance on this thing was huge. It was every thousand hours they changed the engine out, reset the valves. They do it right in the field, pull this whole panel back dislodge everything. It would be a big crew of people. They have an A-frame out of made out of wood. The engine would come off a truck and do it right in the field. Pull this engine up, put the other one in. Have it done in like half a day. Jeez, yeah. that's fast. Yeah. So now we've got the, uh, the tank in position to do the inside upper side of the track, which is now on the bottom on the floor because we moved the tank forward. That was the reasoning behind the tape. This tells me where the sprocket was, which is up front. And the bottom piece of the tape tells me where the back is now laying. Right. I've done all the outside, but I couldn't do the front sprockets because there's not enough room. So this is the sprocket area, um, both inside and outside. I'll be snugging those. And you're only tightening this portion of the that's, that's right, from here back and from here down and then all the way to the front. Right. Because the inside track was on the top side and I couldn't get at it because of the hull, right? Right. So the other... The other part of the track's already been taken care of days ago. This is the more crucial spot because you have to move the vehicle to do it. Back in the day, they would have moved the vehicle as it was running and they would have just had a guy under there. And he would have been just kept going and go, okay, go ahead, move forward. And he would have laid right there and stayed there. Right. And they would have rolled over him. So, so yes, yeah, so you're always going clockwise. So. I've got to find a spot. Have to make sure I go tightening wise. That was okay. Shouldn't be any movement at all. And if I get any movement, then I gotta use a little bit. Okay. This is a there's a little bit there, see? Yeah. So this is three quarter inch open end box wrench. That one moved, and I'll go to this spot. I'll go one more just to be sure. I think I've already done this. Oh, there. So that's just the outside of the front sprocket that where it was before. Now we're going to come over here, and we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to go down. See how they get a little loose? Fun parts laying underneath. I'm only clean about this field. That's the way it's good. Good. Nothing glamorous about this, but this is all part of what we do. Oh, there's a loose one right there. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this. There we go. That's oh, coming. Almost there. That's good, right there. So that one was about 10 turns, as far as a quarter turn you should go. That'll be one we're gonna have to watch. That one's good. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> 